Let me see. Yeah, it is coming. Good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Very nice. Uh, so, first of all, uh, let me thank you, uh, uh, Punam and uh, uh, Alejandro, for inviting me to be here uh, in this very nice symposium. This was uh, a great idea in this time of uh, uh, problems, the commitments of you. Uh, share these uh, uh, works and all these uh, collaborations with uh, people from India and Brazil have been a very great idea and uh, uh, we look forward to continue uh, many uh, very issue, very important issue. Uh, we can try to continue our collaboration because uh, it seems that the area in which we were working that are uh, retrovirals yeah. uh, it seems that we have a lot of work to do and that work could be very um, useful for uh, both of our countries that have very similar uh, problems configuration. So uh, I will uh, go to to my talk uh, after. Thank you for uh, inviting me here. Um, trying to continue what uh, Alejandro was talking about. Uh, I will. molecule uh, with pharmaceutical properties uh, in which we use it as a model for proving all these crystal forms, trying to get all these crystal forms that uh, Alejandro was talking about. And as Alejandro and Patrice uh, were talking, uh, these uh, solid forms have a different um, a pharmaceutical uh, as well as chemical and physical properties, and this can be modulated in such a way and the, the biological uh, activity of this molecule, and also to uh, repurpose some of the medicines that, uh, for example, the one that I have been doing now for COVID-19, this uh, pandemic problem. Uh, as a model, I will show you uh, one molecule that's very uh, small. This one is uh, called a five fluoroacyl This five fluoroacyl is very uh, cancer drugs uh, that have been using for a long time. He's got uh, mm, problems like uh, variable viability uh, and even they, when they have very uh, several functional groups had to be give it intravenous uh, causing uh, discomfort in the patient and risk of contamination, as uh, Alejandro was saying. And, and also the, the main problem is that they have low specificity with... Uh, uh, so that's combined with the short uh, half-life of about 30 minutes, uh, was uh, resolved by using another uh, similar compound that is the 5 fluorocytosine. This 5 fluorocytosine is as changing the o, uh, oxygen in here by the NH2 group. Uh, in this one, this case, this uh, fluorocytosine uh, was previously used as an antifungal 
uh, compost and using some it can be uh, used to uh, produce this fluorescing uh, block as a, a gene therapy. So that can be directed to the site of the tumor and inviting a site and problems uh, that can be uh, dangerous for us and the other one. So we use this uh, for oxytocin as a, a molecule, as a starting molecule, as a model uh, for uh, our works in solid state. This work from a couple of my students and have, we have been working in this area for at least uh, 10 years that um, said, I, have, I can say you that these have several uh, solid forms, mainly hydrate, uh, hydrate, as you can see here, all of them uh, with different amount of uh, water. For example, this monohydrate in here uh, with one API and one water molecule here, uh, with two API and five water molecule. However, the one that is used in, uh, as uh, pharmaceutical industry is the, this one. That is the anhydrous uh, phase with no water. That's uh, because of the stability uh, and physical properties of these uh, solid forms. Um, This 5 fluorocytosine uh, by, uh, the bio pharmaceutical classification system is called class 2 uh, with a high permeability but low solubility. Um, it has some problems with uh, stability. The main uh, solid form used in the pharmaceutical industry to produce all the, medic the medicines, uh, uh, as I told you, is the anhydrous phase. And this anhydrous phase has problems with the uh, uh, irritation. Uh, if you uh, put this uh, solid form in a relatively high humidity environment, it will uh, turn into the monohydrate uh, form. We try to work with this monohydrate form for a long time. And uh, what we discovered uh, was that um, uh, from this monohydrate that was produced by the hydration of the anhydrate form, uh, you cannot get back to the previous form. Uh, even with the heat treatment, uh, what you recover is a, a known phase. Uh, that is not reported, uh, but you cannot get back to the anhydrous phase previously uh, used by the pharmaceutical entity. So this is very bad for the uh, pharmaceutical entity since you can uh, you have some stability problem with your main products. Uh, so we involved trying to use uh, what we call crystal engineering to produce that form. As Alejandro said, there are a very high, very wide universe of different solid forms that goes from hydrate and solvate, uh, salt, uh, concrete, all these um, inter. Uh, ligand spaces where you can get co-crystal hydrated or uh, ionic co-crystal or sal hydrated and that gives you a huge uh, universe of different solid forms that you can get. So um, using this molecule uh, as, uh, as a model we decided to study these uh, new forms trying uh, to see how well you can uh, uh, perform, how 
uh, you can, we can try to get more this, uh, of these solid forms. That said, uh, it's important to, uh, to point out here that uh, these new solid forms are having treated very seriously by the uh, agencies uh, like the FDA. The FDA uh, has given regulatory classifications guide uh, in, in 2019, uh, 2098, uh, about uh, solid form, especially for crystals, given the importance of this in pharmaceuticals. So uh, we decided to apply it, uh, crystal engineer, uh, trying to see mainly frequency of the symptoms and trying uh, to see if we can, uh, we could uh, model these uh, symptoms trying to uh, uh, work with them, use it, use it to design new uh, solid forms. So the main tool in here is for the rational design, it's the use of the Cambridge Structural Database using uh, this tool as uh, analysis tool for analyzing the symptoms, well, that means the how, how is the relative probability of the different uh, intermolecular interaction that can be produced uh, in order to use that probability as a key tool to the design of new um, new materials, new solid foreign uh, physical chemical uh, as well as um, biological properties. That means uh, redirecting uh, inter intermolecular interaction like hydrogen bonds, charge acidity hydrogen bond, fire interaction, and so on. In this of this uh, 5FC, uh, we have mainly three different types of uh, intermolecular interactions that forms dimer, the, this one NH, uh, NH, 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 uh, NHO, uh, with three, three different dimers forms, uh, being this one called form three, the main, uh, the main one uh, um, with higher probability, that is the NHN uh, with double NHN in here. So, to use that uh, as a tool for design new universe of these solid forms, uh, working mainly with uh, salt, eco uh, crystal, um, also move into a more interesting uh, area that could be the drug drugs co crystal So let me explain a little bit about that. One of these means the uh, uh, point here was trying to uh, uh, synthesize a, a, a very bright white um, area of different solid form, try to control uh, this uh, acidity uh, of this uh, solid form. So using the different in the delta pKa, we can control, uh, if we can produce salt and from crystal, for that, started with some uh, carboxylic acid, mono and D carboxylic, carboxylic acid, using this uh, carboxylic acid as a main performer for this crystallization. Uh, using that, we saw that uh, um, with data pKa bigger than two, we uh, normally we used to have salts. With data pKa less than zero, we usually get concrete tau. However, in the middle between two and zero, we have a, a area called continuum in uh, the form and the solid form uh, that you get, it depends on what is the, the main uh, compound that you have. In here, in the case of this 5FC, we have mainly uh, salt uh, for me. So uh, we try to 
eh, está en el libro. Eh, how these different in intermolecular interactions uh, forms uh, take uh, take place, and how this uh, model the different forms that we have. Given that, we were able to move from one point to in, and we saw that the main difference in the between salt and concrystal is that. In the case of co-crystal, you have mainly homosymptoms uh, formed uh, in your in your solid area. You have mainly heterosymptoms forming. In the case of co-crystal, as you can see, we have our NHM NHM dimer as well as the NHO NHO dimer. Uh, in the case of the uh, you have uh, mainly their symptoms where uh, these five FCs mainly were interacting with the carboxylic acid uh, uh, in a way that it was not uh, doing in the co crystal. We're trying to, to see where uh, exactly. Uh, You, you go from co-crystal to salt, and we were able to do that with malic acid, in which we get a structure that was partially co-crystal, partially salt, uh, in terms of the intermolecular inter both characteristic from co-crystal and salt, in which, from one hand, you have these heterocytons, uh, with the FC were uh, interacting with the carboxylic acid, and on the other hand, you also have these interacting almost symptoms between two F uh, five FC uh, um, compound. <coughs> Working also in the co-crystal area, we were able also to go to the opposite extreme and working to uh, the area of what we call uh, a big uh, different crystal form by itself and have been uh, getting a lot of attention, mainly from the uh, patents point of view, the intellectual property point of view, since that can be uh, make a uh, solid forms. Uh, so we put a lot of effort trying to get this uh, solid form, and finally we use it uh, picric acid. This picric acid was uh, a nice uh, conforming with uh, three carboxylic groups uh, um, with three NO. In O2 groups and one oxygen, so a lot of uh, interactions um, able to form. And here you can see one FC is protonated and one is not ionic co crystal. Um, moving a little bit further, we move trying to design now a co crystal with other drugs. Drug that are drug drug co crystal. In this case, uh, the problems are a little bit hard because um, you some with, you have to combine in the same crystal uh, two molecules of different APIs. But these APIs not just to be uh, uh, complementary from the intermolecular. Interaction point of view, but all of the pharmaceutical and medicinal point of view. So we do it that combining this uh, 5FC with the uh, high fluorocytosine, that is the, the drugs for treatment with caffeine. Uh, 
with also with isoniazid. Isoniazid is used for uh, tuberculosis uh, treatments. Uh, that's one of the main respiratory uh, issues. Now let me go uh, one by one. Uh, the case of the combination of the 5FC with 5FU, uh, the, remember that 5FC is a prodrug of the 5FU, so you can uh, have different uh, uh, forms of uh, working. The 5FU will work mainly uh, from the beginning, and after that, you can use genetic. Uh, uh, therapy to produce a little bit more of 5 u uh, starting from 5FC. Uh, from the solid form point of view, uh, what we saw was that even when you have this co-crystal, the co-crystal is formed by dimers of 5FU and 5FC. So even when you have this uh, uh, different this combination forms they retain this own uh, almost symptoms and this is very important things because you can now try to uh, do what uh, Alejandro was talking about that is uh, this um, solid solution trying to mix more uh, different amounts of these two molecules, trying to see uh, if you can get, for example, two to one or two to three uh, combinations. Now we are working on that area as a result. This can be done also uh, from the co-crystal point of view. The same uh, intermolecular interaction, this are uh, uh, issue structural, so this is an area where these um, solid, solid, uh, solid state solutions can be uh, uh, used in, in a very nice form. Uh, other area that we use it was the caffeine. The caffeine, uh, as you can see here, uh, it crystallized with two molecules of caffeine and two molecules of 5FC. Uh, this crystal is retain uh, the 5FC, 5FC, uh, 5 to see almost dimer. So even when the caffeine were able to interact with the 5FC, it was not uh, strong enough to uh, compete with this. Uh, Omo Dima. That's uh, a very important issue that we use it here as, uh, um, as a conclusion. Uh, this uh, caffeine, as well as other co crystals that we produce, have a uh, very uh, that is similar. This solubility study showed that uh, even when we have uh, uh, eco crystal, you can have uh, similar uh, solubility, aqua solubility uh, for this uh, compound. So you have uh, uh, here a drug crystal with uh, different uh, co-formants, and this uh, solubility shows that the solubility has been improved. And uh, what is very important since when you have uh, a crystal trying to avoid uh, the change in the um, biological parameters. Uh, what is more important with these new solid forms uh, is that the water uptaking was uh, prevented. So these new forms and a very high stability, uh, we, were, uh, 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 we were able to do some uh, long-term study. Uh, the solid forms remain stable for more than two years. 
uh, in the same solid form without uh, uptaking the um, water molecules. So that's a good uh, point because you have this uh, a good solubility and you have also um, uh, no hydration. So this allowed us to uh, produce some patent. Uh, that's very uh, important issue, not just to remain with the uh, science, but also try to get to the uh, industry, uh, the pharmaceutical industry, uh, I convince them that these new solid forms can be a tool uh, to resolve uh, some of the problems that our country have uh, with the with drugs and trying to uh, get better uh, drugs using new solid forms. Um, what does that mean in drug drug crystal with this uh, molecule in here? This cover this uh, coral crystal is 5 FC here with isonacid. Isonacid, as I told you, is one of the main uh, drugs used for the treatment uh, of uh, tuberculosis. And so, this combination uh, of drugs was mainly done thinking about. Uh, lung cancer uh, that is very common uh, effect after the tuberculosis. So uh, having uh, both uh, diseases at the same time, tuberculosis, cancer after the tuberculosis as well as fungal infection in the lung, uh, have been um, very uh, problematic issues. So this drug was designed to for uh, this um, treatment, for the treatment of this uh, comitant uh, antithesis. We were able just to crystallize that for solvent as well as the um, mechanochemistry, uh, um, procedures using what is called green chemistry. This, uh, this mechanochemistry uh, way uh, uh, synthesis is very important for the industry since it's more uh, easily to escalate um, since you use uh, such a small amount of uh, um, solvent is what is called green chemistry and it's very uh, attractive for the pharmaceutical industry today. So this uh, the solubility profile of this uh, is uh, similar, uh, uh, even when uh, these two, uh, the spinacid and the five are similar, uh, are different in solubilities. This uh, co-crystal of a solubility uh, similar to the 5FC, so uh, even when you have, uh, we have here the uh, drug drug crystal, we don't miss too much uh, of this solubility. It's a good uh, to the market. Again, it was possible uh, to uh, enter with uh, a patent in here, which is uh, very important to mainly to show uh, our uh, science agency that we can have a product as a result of our uh, research. Uh, moving a little bit further, we also trying to uh, get a little bit uh, more information about To do so, you have to go to the uh, Church Dane, what's called Church Density Analysis. That means that 
uh, in order to see how this uh, interaction occurs, how this changes in the intermolecular interactions are result of the sort density. The main work here uh, was trying to uh, uh, study experimentally and theoretically uh, the charge density of the of these compounds. Uh, it was done by high resolution uh, X-ray diffraction analysis, combined it with uh, three-dimensional periodic quantum mechanical calculations, uh, and also a, a combination of both, what is called uh, X-ray constrained wave function, uh, uh, as a way to get this information. Uh, this can be, this breakout can be done in gut phase periodic. We mainly combine uh, the three of them and the combination with the charge, experimental charge density was done through the called crystalline uh, theoretical uh, calculation. In the case of uh, uh, experimental charge density analysis, they use what is called multipolar model, in which the density uh, is the, of the atoms are divided in the density of the core, uh, uh, spherical density of the valence shell, and the deformation density that use uh, some um, parameters to study how this balance shell is deformated uh, for each one of the atoms. The problem here uh, is that you have a very high increase in the number of parameters, so you have to go to very high uh, resolution uh, to in order to do that. Let's say normally you go to a normal uh, X-ray study, you go until uh, 0.7 amphoms, uh, now you have to go to uh, 0.4 uh, or 0.3, something like that. This multipolar analysis use uh, a real spherical harmonic uh, with uh, octopus, so, uh, meaning S and P orbital for carbon and nitrogen and extra decapod for metallics or uh, things more uh, heavy like in, uh, sulfur uh, or chloride, for example, and the radial function of the types, for example, in here. Uh, this <coughs> allow us to uh, study the molecular topology using quantum theory or atomic molecules. That means that you can have a very a higher quality for of the charges, then you know where uh, and how to divide, how to separate the different charge density from the different atoms using what is called scalar field. Uh, the gradient of the uh, density show uh, this information where the gradient is zero shows what is called the bad things that is uh, the um, uh, volume that's of the charge density that belong to uh, specific atoms. Um, uh, the hexions of the, the of uh, the charge density that means the second derivative will show the critical points. Uh, the diagonal of this is called the Laplacians. Um, the uh, Asian value of this with uh, the positions of the what they call points and that show the, uh, the nuclear critical points for where the atoms are at the one critical points that are in the middle of the uh, intermolecular interactions as well as the bond, uh, covalent bond. As you see here, uh, you have uh, this uh, uh, Critical point will give information about the ellipticity of these bonds, uh, meaning how uh, pi or how sigma uh, or how concentrated a uh, polar is your uh, interaction. And this gives you a, a, what is called a molecular graph in critical point that show you uh, how this polar here, you have the carbons, the nitrogen, the oxygen, and the critical point here in red, 
that show you where uh, the density start for one atoms and two other, and show you, for example, uh, here the polarity, uh, the bigger, yeah, the oxygen, the smaller here yeah, uh, for the carbon, uh, and again here the carbon, the carbon closer to the carbon, not to the. Uh, this also allows you to get the static potential, which is very important uh, because is how uh, is uh, your pharmaceutical molecule will interact with the ligands or uh, with how the ligand is the, uh, will interact with the proteins uh, uh, side. So this information can be also get by DFT, cell consistent field relations using a uh, model, um, for example, uh, B3LYP uh, combined later and Gaussian function, and this allows you to get the information. Uh, when you get, when we apply that to our uh, drug, drug crystal, allow us to get this um, uh, Fields in here, these are the vaccines. Here we have the molecule in, uh, uh, in here with all the atoms, uh, all uh, how the density of the molecule is divided into the, mole uh, the density of different uh, atoms, or how the these are the volume, we call it the vaccines, that is how the these density are divided. Uh, so that gives you information about uh, how this molecule interacts. Uh, here you have, for example, the contour of the Laplacian of this. They give you the concentration of the charge density. For example, here is the information of the uh, intermolecular symptoms between these two molecules. Uh, The line to say, put it to the, the hydrogen atoms on the NH2 or the S5FC, and also in here the formation of the lone pair of the other nitrogen of the 5FC uh, pointing to the nitrogen uh, to the hydrogen of the uh, so this will give you as more information about the, this uh, chart density, very clear information. Uh, the how these uh, molecules interact. Here you can see a little bit uh, further information uh, about these uh, symptoms. Here you have to see this critical point. Comparing this information here in the bond critical point, you can have information about how uh, important these interactions are, how strong are these interactions. Uh, combine this with the potentials uh, molecule we have uh, in biological science. For example, in here you can see how this density of the hydrogen uh, finish in here, how this nitrogen one start in here, how that these are uh, can be divided in this formation. This is uh, for the experimental experiment showing the retractive potential in here. Uh, the more uh, aerophobic regions and the um, aerophilic region and how these uh, two regions are combined. Uh, this is very important because this is the phase, this is the form, uh, uh, how these uh, molecules will interact with the active size of the proteins. Uh, this is crucial information when you want to go uh, to the docking problems and trying to uh, make a more advanced drug design and try to understand how this molecule interacts uh, with, with your active site. Okay, let me finish with that. Uh, just show you a little bit of my group that are mainly the ones that uh, have been doing most of the work. Um, so our collaboration, Dr. Fernando uh, and also Alejandro Ayala from the 
the Federal University of Serra, as well as our collaborator in Germany and uh, Mexico uh, as well. And of course, the people that pay for our, uh, our works and to you for your time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Yevia, for a very nice talk. Uh, are there some questions? Please drop the message. I have one question. Venu is saying he has some questions. So I will unmute Venu. One minute. Yeah, unmute. Venu, now, uh, Professor Venu. Please. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Professor Poonam. Uh, thank you, Professor Elena. That was a very interesting talk. Uh, with uh, yeah, even presentation slides were quite clear to uh, go through them as you are doing presentation. I have a couple of questions. Uh, one of them is uh, you are talking about the PKA rule. Generally, we consider that PKA rule if it is. Uh, three and above uh, uh, acid-base differences there, then you would expect to see salt. Uh, in your case, it is about uh, two pKa differences, two and above maybe, and then you have seen salts. Is that very common or uh, uh, something to do with these systems only? It's a no very common thing. This, uh, this area where the start, uh, start where the co-crystal start is a very fuzzy uh, area. And it depends of specifically of the compound um, and it's clear that higher than three delta pKa you will have a salt before uh, uh, below zero you have a co-crystal uh, in the middle you don't know and because that will depend of uh, uh, the intermolecular interaction and how uh, this uh, this competition will go. Competition between your uh, homocytums, uh, homocytums in co-crystal and the ether symptoms uh, in the salt. So it will depend on how the different forces, that, how this uh, different small difference in the charge density will vary uh, from one to another. Uh, so in this case, the homocytums uh, uh, will uh, will allow us to, it will break uh, very easily, mainly with, uh, with um, carboxylate. Uh, and that will uh, stop at uh, 0.1 uh, delta pKa. After that, you have uh, a salt. But in other cases, uh, you will have to study specifically uh, for, for that company. That's uh, not uh, a result that you other the compounds. Okay, uh, I have uh, another question. You were talking about uh, a co-crystal with the picric acid. You say that yes. is a uh, you say that as a ionic co-crystal. Uh, we know that uh, Dario Braga introduced ionic co-crystals and all. Uh, I'm wondering to see you also introduced FDA guidelines and uh, what should be uh, allowed by them. Uh, according to you, uh, whether this should be called the better as salt or it is a uh, ionic crystal. What's your opinion on that? Uh, this uh, solid forms uh, uh, from the last uh, 10 years. So uh, this lot of grammatical problems uh, and uh, different uh, uh, definitions. I guess that it will depend in which area you are working. When he is asking in which area you are working. Uh, no, uh, I, I, I work in the crystal engineering area and also pharmaceutical co-crystals. Uh, uh, so to, what for, I, for a scientific point of view, it's easy to, to get into a, a, a decision. This uh, for example, this system is put forth 
this is not a it's picture question. This is not a. But the, 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 the agencies of the patent uh, law, uh, that's a complete error. And they just don't care about science and that they, they make their own. Uh, um, uh, that sunshine has nothing to do with science. And so I guess that uh, uh, if you are trying to get a new chemical entity uh, to get a new uh, product in the market, you will If you are just, uh, uh, from the scientific point of view and you want to uh, just important for you with the science, well, that's another definition that you have, you, you, you have to use. So, say, as I told you, you use to, to look at it. Yeah, thank you, I understand. Um, I have last quick question, which is, uh, the solubility advantage that you hinted for the 5 fluorocytosine and so on co crystals. So, what you presented was a relative solubility enhancement between uh, by changing the coformers and you got the yeah. several of complexes. Yeah, yeah, what they, I am trying to ask, yeah, what I am trying to check is uh, if you take 5 uh, fluorocytosine alone and uh, upon making the complex it could be with uh, any of the co-crystal co-former uh, what is the maximum uh, amount of solubility enhancement you have seen uh, yes we we, we mainly the, the uh, for it is very very high uh, have a very high solubility so that's that's not a problem for that we didn't want it to change it what we wanted to to see uh, We wanted. We don't want to lost a lot of this solubility uh, when you get the, the co crystal. You understand? Uh, okay, you can get the co crystal, but if this co crystal is not soluble at all, at all, that will not be useful. So. That, uh, the new co crystal. That was uh, previously presented by the fluorocytosine. So that's that's what's the main point. Not to improve the base fluorocytosine solubility. That is high enough. Avoid uh, to lose that when you uh, get the co uh, That's that's the main point. Trying to see and uh, to prevent. Uh, uh, the loss of the quality that you have when you start it. Okay, thank you. I leave uh, Professor Ponam to uh, have uh, any questions on this charge densities. Then, thank you very much. Uh, we, we can talk later. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, maybe with the, if there are more questions, people can contact you individually because we are yes, now yes, running. Yes, short uh, yeah. You have my contacts. Uh, 